Dante? Dante? Dante, wait up! You gotta stay with me, boy. We don't know. If you and your loved ones are fending off the winter blahs, this new Pixar movie is the perfect medicine to warm your soul. Coco takes us to the heart of Mexico and tells a beautiful story about the value of family and fighting for your dreams. You're all really out there. You thought we weren't? Well, I don't know. I thought it might have been one of those made-up things that adults tell kids, like vitamins. Miguel, vitamins are a real thing. Well, now I'm thinking maybe they could be. Coco is about a young boy, Miguel, and his passion for music. But despite his family's generational ban on music, he still dreams of becoming a musician. I am not like the rest of my family. Hola, Miguel. Hola. Because of that passion Miguel has for music, he ends up going on a magical journey through the land of the dead, which is where you spend time and remember your ancestors and connect with them again. It's a holiday in the Mexican culture, and it's, it's two days, right at the beginning of November, and it's meant to celebrate family who have passed, but it's a fun celebration, right? Where this music is my language and the world is mi familia. I never really understood what the celebration was all about until we started doing this deep dive. And when we started spending time with families down there and doing all our research and starting to assemble our team of cultural advisors, I really got what the celebration was all about. Part of that celebration is remembering all the people who came before you and, and the people who have passed away. And what's so beautiful about Mama Coco, for whom the film is named, is, is that she is kind of the representation of, of the matriarch of this family, the keeper of these memories, the, the person who has all these stories and that connection between those who are alive and those who have passed. And from Mama Coco to our leading lad, there is so much to be celebrated in this movie. One of my personal interests, of course, is the artistry that goes into drawing each and every frame of the film. I still draw. We still, as animators, we still have a, it's called a sketch pass, so we'll get a shot briefing on, from the directors on what we're supposed to do, you know, what the director wants to extract from a, a performance or a scene. And I got to animate mostly Miguel. So he's, there's, there's two worlds, there's the living world and the dead world. And I got to animate him in both. But the part that I loved was there's, there's really subtle scenes. And then there's the complete opposite. There's a scene where he's in a talent show. And he's playing the music and he's on stage. And I had a ton of fun with that because I was kind of up and holding the guitar and moving around, dancing, just trying to figure out like the rhythm and the vibe of the song that he was playing, but just trying to embrace that and then use that and put it into the character for that scene. The sense that you're not making. The liberties you're taking is my shaking. You are just, just a